until crack cocaine entered the scene, blacks as a group in America were gaining great strides in terms of civil rights, health, opportunities, and economic power. But crack cocaine's destructive effect was felt hardest by blacks. When crack cocaine infiltrated black neighborhoods, infant mortality and crime soared in these communities. On a larger scale, crack cocaine contributed to the larger crime wave that started building in America until the mid-1990s, until it was stopped by another unexpected cause, the abortion law. Number 8. Which is more dangerous, a gun or a swimming pool? Most parents would not keep a gun in the house for fear that it can cause harm to their children. Few parents, however, would think there is nothing wrong with having a swimming pool at home. Data shows, however, that there is one drowning of a child for every 11,000 residential pools in America. In a country with 6 million pools, this means that roughly 550 children under the age of 10 die of drowning every year. Meanwhile, there is a child killed by a gun for every 1 million guns. In a country with an estimated 200 million guns, this means roughly 175 children under 10 die from guns each year. This shows that the risks that scare people are very different from the risks that actually kill people. In simple terms, some risks are more frightening than others. A terrorist attack, for example, is more frightening than heart disease, even though more people die of the latter, and the swimming pool is less scary than a gun. In other words, risk is viewed by people as risk equals hazard plus outrage. If the hazard is high but the outrage is low, people tend not to react too much, such as in the case of a heart disease. But if the hazard is low and the outrage is high, such as for terrorist attacks, then people tend to overreact. Number 9. What makes the perfect parent? Many books and studies have been written and disseminated on what parenting would be best for children. There is no single answer, but Levitt found interesting correlations between how a child's school performance, as seen in test scores, and his family environment. In a nutshell, children's test scores were strongly correlated or affected positively or negatively by eight other factors in their family life. The child has highly educated parents. Positive. The child's parents have high socioeconomic status. Positive. The child's mother was 30 or older at the time of her first child's birth. Positive. The child had low birth weight. Negative. The child's parents speak English at home. Positive. The child is adopted. Negative, because parents who give up their babies for adoption tend to have lower IQs. The child's parents are involved in the PTA. Positive. The child has many books at home. Positive. Other factors that do not correlate at all with good test scores, which seem to indicate that they do not matter or affect the child's school performance are... The child's family is intact. The child's parents recently moved into a better neighborhood. The child's mother did not work between birth and kindergarten. The child attended Head Start. The child's parents regularly take him to museums. The child is regularly spanked. The child frequently watches television. The child's parents read to him or her nearly every day. If you look more closely, the first list describes things that parents are. The second list describes things that parents do. Parents who are well-educated, successful, and healthy tend to have children that do well in school. It doesn't seem to matter if they take the child to museums or read to him every day or make him watch TV or not. This may indicate that parenting techniques may be overrated, that it doesn't matter so much what you do as who you are. You have just listened to a book summary by businesssummaries.com. If you wish to listen to other summaries or check other summary formats, simply go to our website at www.bizsum.com. That's www.bizsum.com. Do you like this summary but not a member yet? Subscribe now and learn the latest business trends in minutes from book summaries of today's business bestsellers. Simply go to www.bizsum.com. That's www.bizsum.com for more details. Thank you for listening to businesssummaries.com.